studio audience are here to play some of your favorite games in a whole new way. Connect for basketball. Operation. Jenga. Yahtzee. And Battleship. The games are bigger, the moments are priceless, and one lucky family might just leave here tonight with a brand new car. Plus, a celebrity family will play one of our games right here on Family Game Night, Celebrity Edition. And now, here's your host, Todd Newton. All right, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for being here. What a great looking group. Hi, guys. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. There's my team. All right. Good to see you, everybody. Thanks for coming. I appreciate that. Thank you for joining us, and welcome to Family Game Night. Tonight, we've got a slew of larger-than-life games to play with our studio audience, because that's where all the contestants are picked from. You guys. You guys. You know, there is one lucky family in the audience tonight that's going to get to play for our Monopoly Crazy Cash game where they could win a brand new car. It could happen. It could happen. <laughs> Tell you this. I'm glad you tuned us in tonight because we've got a surprise celebrity guest in his family who's going to be here to play one of our favorite games and one of his favorite games. It's a big one. A longtime actor, a soap star. I know he's ready to bring it, so stick around for that. Who wants to help me get this show started tonight? Okay, I need two families. Two. Let's get it going with Jason, Derek, Grassani, and Dion. It's your turn to play. There they are. <laughs> Blue shirts. Let's get another family up here. How about Ray, Amelia, Arias, and Dion? Your turn to play. Hi, guys. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know Dion. All right, you look ready. You look ready. Hi guys. Hi. Pleasure to meet you, Arius. All right. Pleasure to see you, Dion. Oh, this is gonna be good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here tonight to play a little Connect Four basketball. Let's go right back here. Come on back. <laughs> All right, Jason, your family right over here. Ray, your family right there. Now, the object of Connect Four Basketball is to get four in a row. You can do it either vertically, horizontally, or you can do it diagonally. The first team to do that wins the game and wins an ultimate home game room package. Jason's family, you guys are up first. Who's gonna start us off here? You get, all right? Okay. You take a shot, then you go to the back of the line. It'll be the other family's turn. Are you ready, Jason? Are you a baller? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're <so> <laughs> <laughs> Now you gotta, you gotta stop laughing. Stop laughing. You have to stop laughing, otherwise the shot's gonna go all over the place. Okay, you set? Yes. Let's go. All right. Good shot. Yeah. Right there. Grab a ball. Okay, everybody grab a ball so you're ready. Here comes Ray, and he's a baller too, I can tell. Wow, you guys are good. Garrett. Oh, these guys came to play. These guys came to play. Look at that. Two in a row. All right, Arius. All you. That's it, that's it. Look at this. Dasani. Looking to make it three in a row. Ooh, very close. Leo. Three in a row. Look at that. Hey, Dion. Dion, this just got serious here. We gonna go for that block? I'm going for the block. You gotta do it. All right, Dion. Going for the block. Did he get it? Did he get it? Did he get it? No. Oh. Dion. You can bring it home, big man. You can bring it home. He's using every inch of that circle, too. Look at that. For the win. Not yet. No. He wanted one. He got two. Two in a row. All right, Ray, you can win it. You can win it. Come on. 
for the win. No, but you got three in a row there, too. Garrett, there's some pressure. Lock it. You're going to block which one? You're going to go four, you're going to go six. Oh, uh, one. What? Oh, you're going to go one? Oh, that's what Dad said. OK, all right. Battle of the Dion's here. He wants one. And now you guys have three in a row. That number four spot is money. It's money. And oh, no, still there. Rosani could win it right here. For the win, there it is. That number four row, that number four column, that's where it was. Drasani hit it, and look what you've won. You've won the Fat Cat 3-in-1 Flip Game Table. Three games in one. Play air hockey, billiards, or table tennis by simply flipping the table over to change games. It's easy to use, and all accessories are included. And for more game room fun, you've won the Viper 797 electronic dartboard featuring a four-person Cricut LCD display. This regulation-sized 15 and a half inch board can accommodate up to 16 players and features over 240 options. Good stuff, right? That was a game. Definitely one of the best Connect Four basketball games we've had. And I tell you what, for playing as well as you did, I'm gonna give you guys $100, oh, wow. all right? Let me get uh, Dason and Ray. How about it? Why don't you guys join me up here to choose a combination from Mr. Monopoly? And we will let Dason choose anyone you want. Come on over here this way. Let's see. We have red, yellow, and green. That's yours. Hold on to it to the end of the show. And Ray has orange, green, and red. You hold on to that one. There's a combination either up here or down there that's going to open that community chest at the end of the show. That'll tell us which family is going to play our Monopoly crazy cash game for some real money a little bit later on. But right now, I need one family to play a game with me. Just one. One this time. And I'm looking for Vivian, William, Lillian, and James. Your turn to play. Right up here. Hello, Vivian. Nice handshake right there. How are you, Miss Vivian? Good. Are you ready to play with me? Yes. Is your family ready to play with yeah. me? Yes. Yeah. It sounds like they are. When we come back, we're going to play Operation only on Family Game Night. I'm here with Vivian and her family. They've been selected to play Operation. Is this fun? Yeah. Vivian, you are standing so straight. You make me want to correct my posture. Okay. <laughs> now, this is how you make money in this game. You do it by rolling balls into Cavity Sam right here. But I can't just give you those balls to roll. That's no fun for anybody. You have to earn them. It's always, it's always more fun when you earn it, right? Yeah. That's right. And in order to earn those rolls, you have to operate on a patient. Would you like to meet our patient? Yes. <laughs> Join me right up here. Here we are. <laughs> Vivian's dad is here. He's in a full body cast, prepped for <laughs> surgery. <laughs> I, boy, your whole family's giggling, sir. I apologize. Now, <laughs> we're going to cheer him up a little bit by allowing his family to have the chance to win some good old-fashioned cash. Now, your dad has some funny ailments. He has a chip on his shoulder. He's got a Charlie horse. He's got water on the knee. They're still giggling, sir. I don't know what to do about it. He has butterflies in the stomach, and he has tennis elbow. For every ailment that the family successfully removes, they will earn a roll in Operation Sam over there. We're going to start you off with one free roll. You can earn up to three more. More rolls, more money. Yeah? yeah. OK, good. Yeah, you remove those ailments using these giant tweezers. But be very careful, because if you touch the sides with these tweezers, a buzzer's going to sound like this. And the, oh, sorry, he, he jumped. The turn will end. Who would like to go first? Um, me. You? All right. Yeah. I put a box right there for you, so you can. <laughs> these tweezers. These tweezers. These are big tweezers, Vivian. 
Are these the biggest tweezers you've ever seen? Yes. Yeah, me too. All right, there you go. Which ailment are you gonna go for? Um, the butterfly. Butterfly, because that's the biggest right in the middle or there? Or maybe the chip. Yeah, or the chip, chip, whichever one you'd like. I hold it, yeah. Okay, right, that's good, that's good. Maybe hold it down here. Oh! oh. Okay, good job. And we all jumped on that one. Okay, no roll there. Who's gonna go next? Okay. William. There you are, sir. Good job, good job. Hold it on the metal part. I know. See if we can add another two roll hands, for you. Two hands. Oh, oh. so hard. Not the side. One more chance. Oh, Is this you, Lillian? Yes, I guess it's yeah. me. Me. Let's see that steady hand. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. They're all going for that chip. And she oh. got it! Oh. She got it! That means you guys have two rolls over there at Cavity Sam. You stay right where you are. Come on, guys. Two rolls. Oh, there he is. He's You're sweating. good at that. He's yeah. nervous. Right over here, I'm gonna tell you how things are gonna go down right up here. As you can see, each of Sam's funny ailments here are worth a different amount of money. There's some pretty good cash up there. You roll a ball into one of them, that's the amount of money you get. If you miss, we're still gonna give you $100. Yeah. We love that. We love that. We'll do a little test roll here, only because it's my only opportunity to play this game that I've loved for so long. And, ah, oh, man. That's not real sympathy, but thank you all very much. <laughs> I would have gotten $100 for that. You guys have two rolls. Who's going to go first? Um, me. Is there a question? All right, you go ahead. <laughs> Vivian's going to go first. Now roll it nice and hard right down the middle, OK, Vivian? And no, but you still got $100. You got $100 for that one. Good. One more roll. William? OK. Go for it, William. And William was going for the bell, but he got 700 for a total of $800 playing Operation. Very nice. Let's go get a combination, too. Come on, Vivian. That's some good money. Right up there, you can choose any one of those you'd like. Yes. Vivian has made her selection. It is blue, red, yellow. Will you hold on to that to the end of the show? Yes. Thank you. Right down there by your family. Perfect. Perfect. I love Operation, love giving away that money, and I also love playing Jenga. That's what we're going to do now, and I need two families to do it. I need two families now to play Jenga. And the first, Augie, Tiffany, Steve, it's your turn to play, and a family for you to face off against. What do you say we call down Landon, Ryan, and Chantel? Your turn to play. Hi, guys. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Steve. Nice to see you. Another family coming up on my left. Your right. Hi there. How are you? Nice to meet you. Landon, good to see you. Hi, Ryan. All right. Get ready. Jenga time when we come back on Family Game Night. Yeah? All right. family they are both here so that you can watch them play Jenga right over there larger than life there it is our beautiful Jenga tower it looks great now it doesn't always look like that at the end of the game the object of this game is simple just don't be the one that knocks over that tower. If you can avoid knocking that tower over, you're gonna win the game and you're gonna win a family fun extravaganza. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tiffany and Chantel, let's come right over here if you would please. The families can take their spots in their circles. Beautiful. Everybody knows exactly what needs to be done. That's perfect. The moms are gonna pull numbered blocks from right here. Now, the number they pull is the number of blocks that your family has to pull and then stack on top of the tower right over there. Inside here, we have five ones, we have five twos, we have five threes, and we have two zeros. Those zeros mean you don't have to pull any blocks on that turn. That could really come in handy. Each family's gonna start with two minutes up there on the clock, and when I say go, 
that's when your clock starts. You'll need to move very quickly, guys, from your home base to pull out a block from the tower and then come back to your home base, hand it to the dad who's going to run back and stack it on top of the tower and then come back to home base. Ooh, it moves fast and furious. You keep going back and forth until you've stacked every required block. Once you do that, dads, make sure you hit the button. That's what stops your clock. Now, if time runs out or if you knock over the tower, it's game over. All right, let's play a little Jenga here. Come on, guys, come on, guys. <laughs> You're up first. Draw okay. a number. You can spin this if you oh, like. Oh, okay. Sure. Come on, Any zero. number you want. Oh, she wants a zero. Pick win. That's it. That's the one. She's got a two. Oh, that's okay. A okay, two. Do, We're going to start. Whoa, not oh, yet. Whoa, look at that guy. Wow, he's <laughs> all fired up. He's all fired right. up. Augie, two blocks, one at a time. Are you ready? Get set. Go! He's tap. Oh, he knows how to play Jenga. Be gentle. Be gentle. Go to the other side. He knows how to play Jenga. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Pull it, pull it. Gentle, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Comes the first run. Get out the man, There you go. Up to the top. Come back. Make sure there's a clear tap. Go, go, go. 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 That's it. Looking for one more. Gentle, oh, gentle. yeah. Go, 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 go. All right, this is the last required block of this turn. Stack it up top. There's your second. Hit the button. And we've got 125 left on the clock. Nicely done. Nicely done. All right, Chantel. I know it's it. I don't want you to ruin the. Those are some fancy nails there. Well, yeah. How about a one? Just a one. <laughs> the sparkles okay. pulled a one. All right, are you ready, guys? Yes. Land it on your mark. Get set. Go! go, go, go. Yeah, baby! Just need one this time. You got this, man. Looking for one that's loose. There's one. He got one. Right, right over there. there. Ryan's going to stack it on top. Good job, Ryan. And he's going to rush back and hit the button. Go! Stopping at 143.6. Back right. over to Tiffany. Oh, come on, zero. Come on, zero. Where should I go, Hawk? You do it, Mama. You do it. She's calling for that. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's. Re Although you still have 125 left on the clock, at the end of the game, let's see if this played a part in how much uh, time you had to get those last required blocks a little bit later on. All right, a zero is always a good thing, unless of course it's the other team that pulls it. But there's still one in there, Chantel. <laughs> so you might pull one as well. Great. Let's see what you can get. Going up top. I am. And oh. we have a three. Oh. That's OK. That's three. Okay. You could do it, All right, man. Landon, you're going to have to cook, my friend. Oh. On your mark, you get you set, go! Ooh. First of three blocks. <laughs> Nicely done. Nice. Ryan's got some height, too. That makes it a little bit easier. Go. Good. <laughs> Here's number two of three. Good job, Lane. You got this. No, 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 no. A little swaying happening up there. Good job, Ryan. Shoot one more. We need one more. In the middle, in the middle. Oh. Oh, boy, he got it. The third of three. Boy, that tower is. You got it, Ryan. We've got one minute left on the clock. One minute exactly. Okay. High five, dude. All right, back to Augie's family. That's a very sensitive spot right there in the middle. Tiffany, go ahead and pull another block. Now I need the zero. Now, yeah. <laughs> well, there's another one in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Yeah. I think that's yeah. second, the yeah. second side right now. But you got to be so gentle. Yeah. Three. Oh, OK. 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 All right. All right, Augie, good luck. On your mark, get set, you can do it go. Now. Be gentle, be gentle. Gentle, gentle. He knew right where he was going. The first of three. Nice, nice. move. Nice move, Augie. 115 Daddy. left Careful, on Daddy. your clock. It's got to go the other way. All okay, you got okay. it. There you go. All right. Here's the second of three. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, that's gentle. Good, yeah, good. yeah. Gentle, Nicely gentle. done. Woo! One minute left. Very good play by Augie out there. Here's two. 
Okay, 50 seconds. Go, Augie. Need one more. No, no, no. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh, yo! Yeah. Over goes the Jenga Tower. Landon's family has won the game. Boy, it was rock and rolling, shaking and banking there. And for winning Jenga, Landon, Andrew's going to tell you about what you won. You get to marvel at life-size dinosaurs and the story of their 200 million year domination of Earth at Walking with Dinosaurs, the arena spectacular on national tour. And you'll see this show at Staples Center in Los Angeles. And for more family fun, you've won season passes to Six Flags Magic Mountain for the 2015 season. Experience extreme coasters and enjoy dozens of attractions for the whole family. But that's not all. You're going to receive combo season passes, so you can also enjoy dozens of bone-soaking water adventures, including the new Bonsai Pipelines at Six Flags Hurricane Harbor all season two. That's a happy boy. That's what we like to see. Great job, you guys. You played great as well. Augie, you made some fantastic moves out there. I tell you what, I'm gonna give you guys $100 for playing with us, all right? Augie, Landon, let's go grab combinations right up here for Mr. Monopoly. Come on, Landon. Come on with us. You get to choose the first combination right up there. All right. Anyone you want, Landon, and then Augie will choose one. We have four for you to choose from. Which one you want? Right there. All right, and Landon has selected blue, green, orange. That's yours to hold on to. Your turn, Augie. All right, blue, yellow, and red. And that's yours, my friend. Great job. Both teams, really, really good. Hey, something special when we come back here on Family Game Night, a special surprise celebrity guest and his family are gonna take our stage. I'll give you a hint. He's an actor we've been watching on TV for a long, long time, and you do not wanna miss this. Celebrity edition of Family Game Night returns right after this. Okay, I told you this was gonna be good. I told you it was gonna be good. It's time for Yahtzee, but we have a very special Yahtzee for you tonight because rolling the dice with us is a very special celebrity guest. He brought his family. You'd like to know who it is, I'm assuming, right? All right. You know this man from Falcon Crest, Renegade, and the Bold and the Beautiful. Hey, Lorenzo Lamas and his daughter, Isabella Victoria and Alexander. <laughs> Look at the girls. The girls are here. All right. So good to see you, Todd. A beautiful so family, glad to be man. Here. Thank Look you. This. Man, just when you think you're the best looking guy on the camera, Lorenzo Lamas comes walking. Oh, no. Knocks no, me right no. out of the water. Not true, not true. Listen, we've got $10,000 for the charity of your choice. Who are we playing for? The Boot Campaign. It's a great charity. Um, it goes to um, it goes to help returning uh, service members, you know, get reintegrated into oh, into life, great. and they take care of uh, physical, mental, emotional needs. Beautiful, ten grand. That would be something. All right, here's how you and the girls can win ten thousand dollars. Right over here, we're going to play Yahtzee. The goal of the game is to roll the same number on each of five different dice in three rolls or less. When that happens, this entire beautiful audience who's been waiting to meet you, they scream out. It's like a choir, isn't it? Pretty cool. Nice. Yeah. If you can do that, you win the game and you pick up 10000 for your charity. Now, we know that rolling a Yahtzee is not easy, but you guys can make it a lot easier on yourselves if you can answer this question. Which of these are true about Justin Timberlake? Whoa. Oh. Okay, who <laughs> Look knows the about Justin Timberlake? <laughs> they got giddy all of a sudden. That's like, okay. my, that's like almost my generation. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, mm, okay. I'm going to show you guys six answer choices, okay? I'll show you six. First, is it true that Justin Timberlake was a member of the Mickey Mouse Club? The next one, he's married to Jessica Alba. The next one, he's allergic to chocolate. Is it true that Justin sang at the Grand Ole Opry at the age of 10? Is it true? that Justin has an sync inspired tattoo on his ankle. <laughs> Is it true that Justin owns the original Batmobile? Now, 
Three of those are correct. For each correct answer the family gives us, one of the sides of each of the dice you roll will change from a number to the word wild. That's always a good thing. If it lands on wild, you can use that for any number you want. It makes getting Yahtzee a lot easier. All right, who wants to go first? We okay. want to know which so, of these are so true Mickey Mouse, about Justin Mickey Timberlake. Mouse, non in sync. And you think she's married? No. no. <laughs> right. Right. Sing at the opera. So, no. so no. Alexander, go Mickey Mouse, Opry, and well, they're really in sync. <laughs> Lorenzo and the girls getting into some serious huh? JT talk here. The one in the middle. Alexander's gonna go now. first. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You believe he was a member of the Mickey Mouse Club. All right, very good. Okay. And they, are you doing all three? Should I do all three? You might as well, yeah. Oh, I might as well. I mean, yeah, she's already there, He right? sang at yeah. the Grand Ole Opry at the age of 10. And the third. <laughs> that he's allergic to chocolate? I don't know. All right, she likes that. Right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank all you. All right. You got three choices. Right. Poor Alex. She didn't know. She didn't <laughs> put her hand. Okay, remember for each correct answer you guys gave us, we'll replace the number on the dice with wild. Let's see if uh, this is the one you chose first, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you said that he was a member of the Mickey Mouse Club. Let's find out. Was Justin Timberlake a member of the Mickey Mouse Club? <laughs> yes, he was. Okay. That's one. Okay. Okay. And then the family voted. And that Alex had to stay up here the entire time. So yeah. she just went down here. Is it true that Justin Timberlake once sang at the Grand Ole Opry? <laughs> Audience seems to think so, yes! Okay. And we went up to here. The audience seems to think he's allergic to chocolate. Is Justin Timberlake allergic to chocolate? The answer is... We love you anyway, no, it's okay. And, now, the correct answer was he has an NSYNC inspired tattoo on his ankle. All right, you got two correct. Guys, let's come right up here. We're gonna roll the dice. Let's see those dice if we could, please. Here they come. All right, you guys got two answers correct. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of all the ones and we're gonna change those to wild. There they go. Okay. We'll do the same thing for the twos, please. We'll get rid of all those twos, and the twos suddenly become wild. Now, we're gonna go ahead and roll those dice. We wanna get five of a kind. And, okay, Isabella. All right, you step right up there. No need for discussion. This has been decided. All right. Stop. Wild, yes! That's good. Way to go, Izzy. Way to go. Right here, right here. Right here. <laughs> Come on, do it again. Another one! Oh! Woo! Three more of those, we've got $10,000. Keep going. Stop! St a four, okay. All right. All right, all right. Go again. Stop! St and a five, all right. Okay, all right, all right. One more. Stop! St and a one! Yeah! Okay. Woo! All right. Busy, way to go. That was good. Oh, okay, whatever. You got three wilds. You guys have to decide what you want to keep. If you, for instance, if you keep all the wilds and the four, then you have four fours. We would just need one more four in a wild. Keep all the wilds and the five, you got four fives. Just need another five in a wild. Up to you to decide what you want to keep. So we're going to keep all the wilds, right? Obviously, OK? Do you want to keep the four or do you want to keep the five? You don't have to shh your dad. It's not a secret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, we're among friends, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, we keep the wilds, right? And do you want to keep the five or the four? Keep the five? five. Keep the five or the four? Keep the five? Keep the five. Okay. Well, All right. Who's going to come keep them? Who's going to do it? Go ahead, Vicky. Come on. Yeah. All right. Now, you said you were going to make this fancy. <laughs> Show me how you're going to keep that wild stand right underneath it. There you go. When you're ready. Nice. <laughs> Little drum action. All right. Next one. <laughs> yeah. Woo. She's turned it into five, a yeah. superhero on us. Yeah, that's right. right. Woo! Woo! All right. All right. Woo! Okay. 
We still have two rolls. That's two rolls to get another wild or another five. You do that, you got $10,000 for the charity. All right, let's roll the dice, please. Who's gonna do this? Okay. Alexander, do it. All right. Come on, a wild or a five, and we got a winner. What? A four. Oh. Okay. Now, do we want to stay where we are, keep everything we've got? Or do you want to keep that four for whatever reason and switch things around? No, let's just spin again. Keep okay. Yeah. All right, we got one more spin for a wild or a five. Let's roll the dice. Come on. Come on. Stop. You got it. Good job. You were great. Lorenzo, thank you so much. Thank Come you. on, ladies and gentlemen. Thank there he so is. Much. Beautiful girl. Thank you. Fantastic game. Thank you so much. Stay where you are. Battleship is coming up next. I thought it would be pretty cool to pick one audience family to play a game with me, but then I thought it might be twice as cool if I picked two families to play with me. Battleship, family number one. It's Gracie, Riley, and Nikki, your turn to play. And playing against you will be Jayla, Jada, and Deshonda. It's your turn to play. Right over here. Hi, guys. Hi. Nice, nice to meet you, you, Gracie. Hi, Hi. Riley. How are you? Hi, Nikki. Hi. All right. And, well, what are, we, are we in line for ice cream here? What's going on? Hello, cowboy hats. Line up side by side so I can say hello. Do we have twins? Yes, we do. It's twin time. All right, I always like to guess who the oldest is. Let's see. It's difficult with pretty. You just told me. <laughs> It's difficult with pretty pink cowboy hats. Are you the oldest? Yes. Yes, by three minutes? No, one second. What? One second? Boy, that was a busy day, huh? Cesarean. The, the, oh, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> one second. That's the greatest thing I've ever heard. All right. Are you ready to face the high seas? Yes. Playing Battleship, we must face those high seas. <laughs> and we're going to hide a fleet of six ships on our Battleship grid. Let me tell you about these ships, ladies. Three of them are cruisers. A cruiser will take up two squares on our grid there. We have two submarines that take up three squares each. And then we have the battleship that stretches over four squares. There they are. Soak them in. Burn them on your brain. And we're going to hide those ships by covering up our grid now. There they go, all mixed up. Nobody knows where they are but your job is to find them. You do that by calling out a coordinate and pressing your giant launch button right there to fire a peg right at it, okay? I'm gonna load a peg up for you right back here. There it is. Ooh, I know. Pretty cool. If your peg hits a ship, it sinks and you score. What you want is to be the family that scores three points first or sinks three ships first. If you can do that, you win the game and you win an extreme sports combo package. <laughs> yep. Let's play a little battleship. Gracie's family, you're up first. Tell me which square you want to aim for. B2. B2. Let's start with B2. We're going to lock that in. Audience, count backwards from three. Let's count it down. Three, two, one. Launch it. Here comes B2. It is a miss. It's a miss. Now we come over to the girls. Ready? Jada, Jayla, which square do you want to lock in? C3. Let's go C3. Right smack dab in the middle. It is locked in. Three, two, one. Launch it. Here comes C3. A nice hit. Ooh, I didn't see it at first, but you got it. There's one. Good job. All right, that was a sub. Now we come over to you guys. Okay. Lock one in. Okay. D5. 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 Um, hurry. D5. D5. We'll lock in D5 right over there. Let's count her down. Three. 
two, one. Launch D5 is a hit. A hit. We got a tie game. Tie game. Yeah, one of those cruisers. OK, back to you guys. We're one apiece. What do you say, Jayla? E1. Right over here in the corner. E1 is locked in. That's our coordinate. Let's go. Three, Three two, one. Launch. And here comes E1. Miss. <laughs> Chance for Gracie's family to take the lead. No, you do it, Mom. You do it. B4. We're going to go B4. 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 Let's lock in B4. There it is. Bravo 4. Three, two, one, and B4 is a hit. That's the battleship, baby. The battleship is sunk. One more, and you win the game. Careful, you're going to pull her ponytail right out of her head. She's pulling Gracie's ponytail for luck. All right, you guys can tie it up here. Tell me what looks good. A1. A1, up to the corner. A1, please. Looking to tie it up. And let's count it down. Three, two, one. Watch it. A1. Miss. You can win it right here. We still have three ships okay. remaining. We're going to pick A3. A3. All we need is a hit for the win. A3 is locked in. Three, two, one. Watch it. If there's a ship, you got the game. There it is. You got it. Gracie's family has one battleship. Let's see the rest of the board, if we could, please. Find out where the rest of those ships were. There they are. Andrew, what do you say we tell these young ladies what they've won, sir? You've won two spikes. Spike is the next step in the evolution of the scooter, featuring a front BMX wheel, wide maple deck for side-by-side -side foot placement, and more. The Spike provides fun for the whole family. And you can share the fun with the AR Drone 2.0, Parrot's next generation quadricopter. Onboard technology allows you to fly high and fast with intuitive smartphone and tablet control and automatic stabilization features. You can also share your experience online with built-in HD video recording. Congratulations, you played Thank great. You. you guys did great too. I tell you what, a little something for you. How about $100? Can I give that to you? To All right, how about Jayla and Jada? And Gracie and Riley, join me right up here to choose a combination, OK? You ladies won the game, so you get the first choice. Let's see what the girls are going to choose. Oh, which one? <laughs> which one? I think this one. Yeah. OK. Yeah. Right there? All right, the girls have selected blue, orange, green. Hold on to that for a moment. Great game, you guys. And the last one belongs to the twins. We have orange, blue, and yellow. Hold on to that for me, Jada. All right, all the combinations have been picked. Now we get to see who has the winning combination and who's going to move on to the crazy cash game, maybe even win a brand new car. All of that and more coming up right after this. friends. You've met all my friends, all these wonderful families that have played all of your favorite games here tonight. Well, one of them is holding a combination that is going to open that community chest right there. And when we find out which family that is, that family is going to celebrate with us, with you, and we're going to go up to the Monopoly Crazy Cash Machine, play for some real money, maybe even a brand new car. All right. Are we ready to find out? You all have your combinations, right? OK, let's come on over here. Dason, you're going to go first. Now, guys, you'll take your combinations. You'll insert them right in that slot. The combination will lock in right here. When it does, you can hit that red button, and hopefully the community chest opens for you, OK? Good luck to everybody. Dason, go ahead. Get it started for us. It's locked in. Red, yellow, green. Hit that button. And ah. But I thank you guys. It was great meeting you. All right. That was a heck of a Connect Four basketball game. Thank you so much. 
Next family, Connect Four Basketball. It was the battle of the Dion dads. All right, Ray, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes? Of course. Of course. All right, put your combination right in there. Locked in. And when you're ready, hit that button. That's exciting. I wanted to celebrate with y'all back there, but all four of you left me hanging. <laughs> all four of you. Doesn't matter. We're where we want to be. It's time to play the Monopoly Crazy Cash I'm Machine. Nervous. I'm nervous, too. We have four rows of Monopoly Crazy Cash cards right over there. On the top row, we have the surfboard, the thimble, the rollerblade, and the soccer ball. One of those cards is our win card. If you make it up to that row and you choose the win card, in addition to any money you win along the way, you also win that brand new car. Yeah, but you gotta work your way up. We have a lot of money cards right up there. The cards that are worth cash means money that is yours to keep no matter what. We will never take it back from you. But we also have go to jail cards up there, here and there. You find a go to jail card, you put it in the machine, that ends the game. But again, the money's yours to keep. Okay? Yeah. Now, on the bottom row here, where we're going to begin, all of those are money cards. They're all worth cash. No go to jail cards. So you guys tell me who's going to choose that first card. It's going to be you? All right, Ray. You can choose anyone you want. Okay. You got the horse? Put it right in there. Ray, with his fancy haircut, picked a car that was worth eight. All right. Now that money, that money is yours. That money is yours. And it means we get to go up to the next row. In the next row, there are three cards worth cash. One go to jail card. Who's choosing this one? All right, Arius, your turn, buddy. Okay, the cannon. All right. That one was just drawing you to it, wasn't it? Okay. Right in there. And the cannon is worth. Ah, go to jail card. That ends the game, but it does not take away the $800 that you got or the cash that you won playing Connect Four basketball. And just so you know, the win card tonight was the thimble. That was the thimble. It was a real pleasure meeting all of you guys. Thank you for coming to see us. Thank you to all of our families, this great audience. Thanks to Lorenzo Lamas and his daughters, Izzy, Vicky, and Alex. Thanks to you and your family for watching. We'll see you next time on Family Game Night. Good night, everybody.